Good afternoon. This is All India Radio. I am Anubha Rohatki and with me is Rupinder Kaur Chabla with the Midday News. The headlines. People saved more than 9000 crore rupees through Jan Aushadhi Kendra says Prime Minister Narendra Modi. Calls for using affordable medicines from Jan Aushadhi Kendras. Prime Minister dedicates to the nation the 75th hundredth Jan Aushadhi Kendra in Shillong to mark Jan Aushadhi Divas. Campaigning gathers momentum in for upcoming assembly elections. Prime Minister to address rally in Kolkata today. Film star Mithun Chakrabarti joins BJP. West Bengal CM Mamata Banerjee to address rally in Siliguri. Congress and DMK seal seat sharing agreement in Tamil Nadu. Congress to contest in 25 seats. BJP releases first list of 57 candidates for West Bengal Assembly elections. Congress announces 13 candidates for first two phases of polls in West Bengal and 40 candidates for Assam. India administers over 2 crore COVID-19 vaccine doses in just 50 days. Over 30 lakh senior citizens and more than 4 lakh people above 45 years with comorbidities get vaccinated in 6 days. President Ramnath Kovind addresses tribal convention in Damoh, Madhya Pradesh. Lords the role of tribals in cons- conservation of natural resources. In sports, PV Sindhu to face Carolina Marin of Spain in the Swiss Open Badminton Tournament final at Basel this evening. And BCCI announces IPL schedule for 2021, final match to be played at Narendra Modi Stadium in Ahmedabad. As the nation fights the COVID-19 pandemic, we begin with a message of precaution to stay safe and protected by following these three simple steps. Wear a face mask, maintain two gauze ki doori for social distancing, focus on hand and face hygiene. And now, the news in detail. Prime Minister Narendra Modi today called upon the people to use medicines from Jan Aushadhi Kendra saying the people have saved more than 9000 crore rupees through these kendras speaking at the Jan Aushadhi Divas celebrations via video conferencing Mr Modi said the Pradhan Mantri Bharat Jan Aushadhi scheme has relieved the poor of their high medical expenses ab tak aap jaise parivaron ka kareeb 9000 crore rupees se zyada paisa bach gaya hai kyunki dawaiyan unko bahut kam paison mein mil gayi और उसके कारण वो पहले दवाई लेते नहीं थे अब दवाई ले रहे हैं तो एक तो शरीर को भी लाभ हो गया पैसे बच गए तो परिवार को भी लाभ हो गया कि भाई चलो अब अच्छे काम के लिए बच्चों की पढ़ाई के लिए हम पैसों का खर्च करेंगे तो मुझे बहुत अच्छा लगा और आपसे मेरा यही आग्रह होगा कि जिनसे भी आप जानते हैं पहचानते हैं अगर उनको दवाइयां खानी पड़ रही है तो उनको जरूर बताइए कि आप ये जन औषधि केंद्र से दवाई लीजिए लोग उसको मोदी की दवाई दुकान कहते हैं तो मोदी की दुकान से खरीदिए और जाकर के अपने पैसे भी बचाइए और दवाई लेने में कभी कोताही मत बरतिए द प्राइम मिनिस्टर सेड जन औषधि सेंटर्स आर हेल्पिंग पीपल फ्रॉम पुअर एंड मिडिल क्लास फैमिलीज टू सेव अराउंड थर्टी सिक्स हंड्रेड क्रॉर रुपीज एवरी ईयर मिस्टर मोदी सेड जन औषधि सुविधा सैनिटरी पैड आर सोल्ड एट जस्ट वन रुपी पर पैड ही वॉज हैप्पी टू नोट दैट द जन औषधि स्कीम इज हेल्पिंग पीपल नॉट ओनली इन मेडिकल ट्रीटमेंट बट ऑल्सो इन जनरेटिंग एम्प्लॉयमेंट फॉर द यूथ जन औषधि योजना को देश के कोने कोने में चलाने वाले और इसके कुछ लाभार्थियों से आज मुझे बातचीत करने का अवसर मिला और जो चर्चा हुई है उसमें स्पष्ट है कि ये योजना गरीब और विशेष करके मध्यम वर्गीय परिवारों की बहुत बड़ी साथी बन रही है ये योजना सेवा और रोजगार दोनों का माध्यम बन रही है औषधि केंद्रों में सस्ती दवाई के साथ साथ युवाओं को आय के साधन भी मिल रहे हैं विशेष रूप से हमारी बहनों को हमारी बेटियों को जब सिर्फ हाई रुपये में सैनिटरी पैड्स उपलब्ध कराए जाते हैं तो इससे उनके स्वास्थ्य उस पर एक सकारात्मक असर पड़ता है अब तक 11 करोड़ से ज्यादा सैनिटरी नेपकिन इन केंद्रों पर बिक चुके हैं The Prime Minister pointed out that more than 1000 Jan Aushadhi Kendras are being run by women. Mr Modi also dedicated the 75th 100th Jan Aushadhi Kendra at Nigrams Shillong to the nation. Aaj bhi jab 7500 vay kendra ka lokarpan kiya gaya hai to wo Shillong mein hua hai. Isse spasht hai ki north east mein Jan Aushadhi kendron ka kitna vistar ho raha hai. 
साथियों पचहत्तर सौ के पड़ाव तक पहुंचना इसलिए भी अहम है क्योंकि छह साल पहले तक देश में ऐसे सौ केन्द्र भी नहीं थे और हम हो सके उतना जल्दी तेजी से दस हजार का टारगेट पार करना चाहते हैं 2023 has been announced as the International Year of Millets by the United Nations. The Prime Minister said production of millets will increase in India, benefiting small farmers. He further said that countries from across the world are demanding Indian crops and Indian iron. He added that India gave global recognition to yoga. हमने योग को दुनिया में नई पहचान दिलाने के लिए प्रयास किए. आज अंतर्राष्ट्रीय योग दिवस पूरी दुनिया मना रही है और बड़े चाव से मना रही है जी जान से मना रही है आप देखिए कितने बड़े गर्व की बात होती है जब हमारे काढ़े हमारे मसालों हमारे आयुष के समाधानों की चर्चा करते हैं इससे पहले जो कभी हिचकते थे वो आज गर्व के साथ एक दूसरे को कहते हैं ये लीजिए आजकल हमारी हल्दी का एक्सपोर्ट इतना बढ़ गया है कि कोरोना के बाद दुनिया को लगा है भारत के पास तो बहुत कुछ है आज दुनिया भारत का लोहा मान रही है हमारी परंपरागत ट्रेडिशनल मेडिसिन The Prime Minister said India is not only helping itself but also the world in terms of COVID vaccination. दुनिया की फार्मेसी है ये सिद्ध हो चुका है दुनिया हमारी जेनरिक दवाएं लेती है लेकिन हमारे यहाँ ही उनको एक प्रकार से उदासीनता रही प्रोत्साहित तो नहीं किया गया अब हमने इस पर बल दिया कोरोना काल में दुनिया ने भी भारत की दवाओं की शक्ति को अनुभव किया यही स्थिति हमारी वैक्सीन इंडस्ट्री की थी भारत के पास अनेक बीमारियों की वैक्सीन बनाने की क्षमता थी हमने इंडस्ट्री को प्रोत्साहित किया और आज भारत में बने टीके हमारे बच्चों को बचाने के काम आ रहे हैं साथियों देश को आज अपने वैज्ञानिकों पर गर्व है कि हमारे पास मेड इन इंडिया वैक्सीन अपने लिए भी है और दुनिया की मदद करने के लिए भी है ही ऑल्सो इंटरेक्टेड विद द बेनिफिशरीज ऑफ द जन औषधि स्कीम द प्राइम मिनिस्टर अर्ज राजू वन ऑफ द बेनिफिशरीज फ्रॉम अहमदाबाद टू वॉलंटियर एट द कोविड वैक्सीनेशन सेंटर टू हेल्प द नीडी इर्शाद फ्रॉम व्यू हु स्टार्टेड हिज जेनेरिक मेडिकल स्टोर रिकाउंटेड हाउ हिज income has tripled since he started his jan aushadhi business on the occasion awards were given to stakeholders in recognition of their excellent work campaigning is gaining momentum for assembly elections in west bengal assam tamil nadu kerala and puducherry prime minister narendra modi will address a mega rally at brigade parade ground in kolkata at 2 pm today According to the BJP Mr Modi's rally is seen as the culmination of parivartan yatra which was launched by the party in february This will be the first election rally to be addressed by the Prime Minister after issuance of poll notification for West Bengal. State BJP President Dilip Ghosh said Mr Modi will set the tone of the election campaign at the rally which will be attended by the party workers from across the state. Prime Minister is scheduled to hold more than 20 rallies in Bengal during assembly polls. Election to the West Bengal Assembly will be held in eight phases beginning with polling for 30 seats on 27th of this month. In Kerala the seat sharing talks of major fronts for the upcoming general ele- assembly elections are in final stages candidate selection process of all the three fronts is also in the final lap the dispute with the Kerala Congress Joseph faction in the UDF is expected to end today AICC general secretary KC Venugopal said it is expected that the list of congress candidates would be released next week He also added that this time the Congress is preparing to face elections solely based on its chances of victory. As the CPM CPI bilateral talks are progressing, the division of seats in the left front is in final stages. It has been reported that the CPM will finalize the list of candidates tomorrow with some final changes and corrections in the preliminary list. The list of BJP candidates will be handed over to Union Home Minister Amit Shah at the core committee meeting to be held in Thiruvananthapuram today in his presence. However, the final decision on the BJP candidate list rests with the national leadership. The Bharatiya Janata Party yesterday released the first list of 57 candidates for West Bengal Assembly elections in Nandigram. The party has pitted Subendhu Adhikari against TMC President and West Bengal Chief Minister Mamta Banerjee. Mr Adhikari, who used to be a key aide of Ms Banerjee, joined the BJP a few months ago. Former cricketer Ashok Dinda will be the party candidate from Moena, while former IPS officer Bharti Ghosh will contest from Debra seat. The party has fielded Sudeep Mukherjee from Purulia, Tapan Bhuiya from Kharagpur and Shamita Dash from Medinipur Assembly constituency. 
the Congress has also released the first list of 13 candidates for West Bengal. The party has fielded Samir Roy from Kharagpur Sadar seat, while Parth Pratim Banerjee will fight from Purulia. Radha Rani Banerjee has been given ticket from Bankura seat. For Assam also, the Congress has released its first list of 40 candidates. Party State President Ripun Bora will contest from Gohapur Assembly seat, while Subhramitra Gogoi will be the party candidate from Sibsagar. Senior party leader Devabrata Saikya will contest from Nazira Assembly seat, while Dr. Anuch Kumar Mek will fight from Tezpur seat. In Tamil Nadu, national and state level leaders of major political parties are on an intense campaign trail ahead of the April 6th Assembly election. Senior BJP leader and Union Home Minister Amit Shah is canvassing for the party in Kanyakumari district today. Meanwhile, the DMK and the Congress sealed their seat-sharing agreement today. More from our Chennai correspondent. Union Home Minister Amit Shah launched his roadshows in the southernmost district of Kanyakumari after offering special pujas in the famous Sushintram Temple. He is participating in the roadshows being organized by the BJP in Nagar Koyal. The Kanyakumari Lok Sabha constituency goes for the by-election, where the party's ex-union minister, Pun Radhakrishnan, will take on the candidate of the party's arch rival, PAICC. Meanwhile, the DMK and the Tamil Nadu Congress Committee, TNCC, have signed the seat-sharing agreement today in Chennai. The TNCC will field this candidate in 25 of the 234 assembly seats in the state, besides in the Kanyakumari Lok Sabha constituency. The talks in both the AADMK and the DMK camps with their remaining alliance partners and also in the other political front are still going on. Jay Singh, AAR News, Chennai. In Puducherry, District Magistrate come District Collector has imposed restrictions on political meetings, campaigns, electioneering, etc. under Section 144 CRPC 1973 and Disaster Management Act 2005. More from a Puducherry correspondent. In the order, Mrs. Garg said that this is to ensure conduct of the Assembly election on April 6th in a peaceful manner with regard to public safety and tranquility amidst ongoing COVID-19 pandemic. Political meetings, campaigning, rallies, etc. should be only at the notified places after obtaining prior permission. She said, adding that any meetings and other activities outside the locations identified and without the permission of the Office of the District Magistrate shall be considered as unlawful assembly and legal action initiated against the violators. This order which will come into force immediately will remain till May 4th and this will not be applicable to marriages, religious and funeral processions and government functions as she Chandra Mohan, Yair News, Puducherry. Bollywood actor Mithun Chakraborty today officially joined BJP at the party's rally in Kolkata. Once considered close to the CPIM, Chakraborty, 70, was a Rajya Sabha MP for the TMC for two years before resigning, expressing a desire to quit politics. India has crossed another significant milestone of administering over 2 crore COVID-19 vaccine doses within a short span of time. With nearly 14,24,000 doses being given in the last 24 hours, the country has successfully accomplished administration of nearly 2 crore 9,22,000 COVID-19 doses till this morning. India is one of the countries in the world to achieve these figures in a short span of time. The nation commenced the largest vaccination drive in the world on 16th January this year with vaccination of healthcare workers. Vaccination of frontline workers began from February 2nd, whereas the most recent phase began from the 1st of this month, encompassing vaccination of general public aged above 60 years and people above 45 years with specified comorbidities. The Health Ministry has said that in just six days of the current phase, over 30 lakh senior citizens above 60 years and nearly 4 lakh 60,000 people above 45 years with comorbidities have been administered the first shot of the vaccine. The COVID-19 recovery rate in the country stands at 96.95% with 14,392 people having been recovered in the last 24 hours. In the same period, 18,711 new cases were reported. The number of active cases in the country stands at nearly 1,84,000, comprising around 1.65% of the total reported cases. The Health Ministry has informed that 100 deaths were reported in the last 24 hours due to COVID-19, taking the cumulative toll to 1,57,756. You are listening to the Midday News on All India Radio. A reminder of the headlines before we move on. People saved more than 9,000 crore rupees through Jan Aushadi Kendras, says Prime Minister Narendra Modi, calls for using affordable medicines from Jan Aushadi Kendras. 
Prime Minister dedicates to nation the 7500 Jan Aushadhi Kendra in Shillong to mark Jan Aushadhi Divas. Campaigning gathers momentum for upcoming assembly elections. Prime Minister to address rally in Kolkata today. Film star Mithun Chakraborty joins BJP. West Bengal CM Mamata Banerjee to address rally in Siliguri. Congress and DMK seal seat-sharing agreement in Tamil Nadu. Congress to contest in 25 seats. BJP releases first list of 57 candidates for West Bengal Assembly elections. Congress announces 13 candidates for first two phases of polls in West Bengal and 40 candidates for Assam. India administers over 2 crore COVID-19 vaccine doses in just 50 days. Over 30 lakh senior citizens and more than 4 lakh people above 45 years with comorbidities get vaccinated in 6 days. President Ram Nath Kovind addresses tribal convention in Damo, Madhya Pradesh, lords the role of tribals in conservation of natural resources. And in sports, P.V. Sindhu to face Carolina Marine of Spain in the Swiss Open Badminton Tournament Final at Basel this evening. And BCCI announces IPL schedule for 2021, opening match in Chennai and final match to be played at Narendra Modi Stadium at Ahmedabad. For quick news updates round the clock, follow us on our Twitter handle at AIR News Alerts. The Union Health Ministry along with Niti Aayog reviewed the COVID-19 situation of the states and union territories where positive cases are rising. Health and Family Welfare Secretary Rajesh Bhushan and Member Health of Niti Aayog, Dr. Vinod K. Paul, interacted with health secretaries and officials of Haryana, Andhra Pradesh, Odisha, Goa, Himachal Pradesh, Uttarakhand, Delhi and Chandigarh. During the interaction, ongoing public health measures and management strategies were discussed. States and union territories were asked to ramp up testing, refocus on surveillance and stringent containment mechanism, and accelerate vaccination and promotion of COVID-appropriate COVID behavior. President Ramnath Kovind has said that if we want to connect with the roots of the humanity, then the tribal lifestyle has to be adopted. He also asked citizens to ensure that tribal communities get equal opportunity to participate in modern development and at the same time maintain their tribal identity. The President, who is on a two-day visit to Madhya Pradesh, was addressing a state-level tribal conference at Singrampur village in Damu district today. प्रतिभा जो होती है, वो किसी क्षेत्र, किसी जाति, किसी समुदाय तक सीमित नहीं होती है। प्रतिभा प्रतिभा होती है और हर इंसान में प्रतिभा होती है। आज जिन चार बच्चों को सम्मानित किया गया मंच पर, मैं उनके भविष्य की सुखद कामना करता हूँ और मैं अपेक्षा करता हूँ। ये चार बच्चों का तो केवल एक जिसको हम कहते हैं नमूना है राज्य सरकार ने जो प्रोत्साहन दिया है उसके पीछे उनकी भावना यही है कि जो बच्चे मेरिट में अपनी प्रतिभा के कारण जो आगे आएंगे उनको न केवल प्रोत्साहन मिलेगा बल्कि सरकारी सेवाओं में अवसर भी मिलेगा Appreciating the tribal lifestyle and describing the tribals and tribal communities as protectors and watchdogs of natural resources, the President said the tribal communities protected this wealth even during the British era, so that tribals and tribal martyrs are worshipped at the local as well as national level. आज के इस सम्मेलन में कला प्रशिक्षण हेतु वर्चुअल क्लास के पोर्टल का उद्घाटन करके मुझे प्रसन्नता हुई है ऐसे विशेष प्रयासों के बल पर जनजाति युवाओं को टेक्नोलॉजी और कला साहित्य के माध्यम से उत्कृष्ट शिक्षा प्रदान करके उन्हें आधुनिक भारत के निर्माण में सहभागी बनाना है जनजाति समुदायों के तीस त्योहार और मेले इतने आकर्षक होते हैं कि प्रत्येक व्यक्ति का हृदय आनंद से भर उठता है 
The president laid the foundation stone for the development and renovation work of Singorgar Bill Fort and unveiled bronze statues of Mahatma Gandhi, Ram Manohar Lohia and Pandit Deen Dyal Upadhyay through virtual mode in Singrampur village of Dhamo district in MP today. The statues have been installed in the Belatal area of Dhamo city. Governor of MP Anandi Ben Patel, Chief Minister Shivraj Singh Chauhan, Central Minister Pralad Singh Patel and Faggan Singh Kulaste were also present on the occasion. The second part of the budget session of Parliament will commence tomorrow. In view of COVID-19 pandemic, the Rajya Sabha will sit from 9 a.m. to 2 p.m., while Lok Sabha will function between 4 p.m. to 9 p.m. The second leg of the session will conclude on 8th of the next month. The first part of the budget session had started on 29th of January. The Rajya Sabha was adjourned on 12th of February and the Lok Sabha next day for recess. TMC leader and Chief Minister Mamata Banerjee is today taking part in election rally at Siliguri. Allies of Sanyukt, Morcha, Congress, left parties and Indian Secular Front had the first joint program since announcement of the alliance in Kolkata yesterday where senior leaders Biman Basu of the CPIM and Abdul Manan of the Congress took part. The National Committee set up to commemorate 75 years of India's independence will hold its first meeting tomorrow to discuss modalities relating to preparatory activities. The 259-member committee headed by Prime Minister will meet virtually. It will provide policy, direction and guidelines for formulation of programs for the commemoration of 75th anniversary of Indian independence at the national and international level. The 75 years of India's independence will be completed on 15th of August 2022. Celebrations are proposed to be launched 75 weeks prior to this date from 12th of March this year. 12th March is the 91st anniversary of the historic Salt Satyagraha led by Mahatma Gandhi. Agriculture Minister Narendra Singh Tomar has asserted that the government is ready for amendments in the farm laws, but it does not mean that the laws are flawed. Addressing a function in New Delhi yesterday, the minister said during the talks with protesting farmers, he spoke about the amendments. However, he had clarified to the farmers that the amendment proposals do not mean that the laws have shortcomings. He said that he gave the proposal only to uphold the dignity of farmers. आप सबने ये भी देखा होगा कि मैंने किसानों से बातचीत भी की किसानों को संशोधन के प्रस्ताव भी दिए लेकिन उसके साथ साथ मैंने ये कहा कि अगर मैं किसी संशोधन के प्रस्ताव को आपके समक्ष रख रहा हूं तो इसका मायना ये नहीं लगाना चाहिए कृषि सुधार बिलों में किसी प्रकार की कमी है मैं अगर ये प्रस्ताव दे रहा हूं तो सिर्फ इसलिए दे रहा हूं कि आपके आंदोलन का जो चेहरा है किसान का चेहरा बना हुआ है किसान के प्रति भारत सरकार का नरेंद्र मोदी जी के नेतृत्व का समर्पण है किसान को प्राधान्य देने वाला यह सरकार है और इसलिए किसान का सम्मान रहे यह हमारी प्राथमिकता है तो हम संशोधन करने को भी तैयार हैं लेकिन बिल में खराबी है ऐसा किसी को अंदाज लगाना नहीं चाहिए लेकिन इन सब चीजों का जवाब कोई देने की स्थिति में नहीं है U.S. President Joe Biden has said Indian Americans are taking over America, referring to what he called the large number of incredible professionals from the Indian community holding key positions in his administration. The president was speaking during a virtual interaction with scientists at NASA who were involved in the historic landing of Perseverance rover on Mars on February 18th. Mr. Biden said that his vice president Kamala Harris is also of Indian origin and said Indians are incredible. I just Thank want you, you for, to know. Thank you for taking the time to speak with us. Are you kidding me? What an honor this is. This is an incredible honor. And it's amazing. Indian of descent Americans are taking over the country. You, my vice president, my speechwriter, Vinay, I tell you what. But thank you. You guys are incredible. Indian American scientist Swati Mohan leads the guidance, navigation and control operations of NASA's Mars 2020 mission. Joe Biden, who was sworn in as the 46th president of the United States on January 20th, has created history by appointing at least 55 Indian Americans to key positions in his administration. Bangladesh is observing the 50th anniversary of the historic speech given by Banga Bandhu, Sheikh Mujibur Rahman in Dhaka on 7th of March 1971. Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina paid tributes to Bangabandhu Sheikh Mujib by placing wreaths at his portrait in front of the Bangabandhu Memorial Museum at Dhanmondi in Dhaka. Bangabandhu Sheikh Mujib ar Rahman had delivered the historic speech on this day in 1971 at the then race course maidan which is now known as Surawardi Udyan. This was virtually a declaration of independence from Pakistan. 
In the run-up to the International Women's Day tomorrow, All India Radio News is honoring women achievers from diverse fields by bringing their stories. Today we bring you the success stories of tribal women. The tribal women of Kabir Dham district of Chhattisgarh found the source of income by forming a self-help group. Vidya Srinivas, the member of the Jai Ma Durga self-help group said, they took a loan of 1 lakh rupees from the Grameen Bank and the interest rate on the amount was very less. The members of the self-help group earned 10,000 rupees each after repaying the loan. Talking to All India Radio News, Vidya Srinivas informed about the activities the group is involved in. पांच परसेंट में लोन मिलता है उस पैसे से हम खेती बाड़ी करते हैं एक लाख रुपए लिए थे और उसमें से सभी दस सदस्य हैं उन दस सदस्य दस दस हजार रुपया बांट लिया गया था और उसी से अपना खेती बाड़ी किया था और खेती बाड़ी करते हुए उसके पैसा हम वापस कर दिए और उसमें हमको दस हजार रुपए तक का मुनाफा मिला महिलाएं कह रही है की जब इतना कम ब्याज में हमको पैसा मिल रहा है तो हम इस समूह को क्यों बंद करें हम इसे आगे बढ़ाना चाहते हैं This International Women's Day, AIR News brings you a special 15-minute program, Women on the Move, highlighting the achievements of women in a diverse range of fields. Tune in to the spotlight on FM Gold 100.1 MHz at 9.15 p.m. on 8th of March to listen to this program, highlighting the grit, determination and success of Indian women. The BCCI today announced the schedule for the 14th edition of Vivo Indian Premier League 2021 to be held in India. After nearly two years, the IPL extravaganza will return home with Ahmedabad, Bengaluru, Chennai, Delhi, Mumbai and Kolkata hosting the event. The Indian Premier League will get underway from April 9th with defending champions Mumbai Indians taking on Royal Challengers Bangalore at the MH Chidambaram Stadium in Chennai. The world's largest cricket stadium, Narendra Modi Stadium in Ahmedabad, will host the playoffs as well as the final on 30th May 2021, which promises to be a visual spectacle. All matches will be played at neutral venues. No team will play at their home venue. All teams will play at four out of six venues during the league stage. Olympic silver medalist PV Sindhu will take on top seed and Olympic gold medalist Carolina Marine in the summit clash of women's singles of Swiss Open badminton tournament in Basel today. Sindhu defeated fourth seed Mia Blischfeldt of Denmark 22-20, 21-10 in the semi-final last evening. In the men's singles, former champion Kidambi Srikanth lost to top seed Victor Axelsson of Denmark 13-21, 19-21 in semi-final last evening. And now let us take a look at the, today's weather. National capital Delhi may witness rain and thunderstorm. Minimum temperature was 15 degrees Celsius and the maximum will be around 33 degrees. Mumbai is having mainly clear sky. Minimum temperature was 20 degrees, while the maximum may rise up to 34 degrees. Chennai has a partly cloudy sky with minimum temperature recorded at 25 and maximum expected to be around 32 degrees Celsius. Kolkata has mainly clear sky. The city recorded minimum temperature of 22 degrees Celsius and the maximum will be around 36 degrees. Srinagar may witness generally cloudy sky with light rain. Minimum temperature was 7 degrees Celsius and maximum will be around 13 degrees. Jammu has a generally cloudy sky with light rain. Minimum temperature was 18 degrees Celsius and maximum may go up to 24 degrees. Leh is having generally cloudy sky. Minimum temperature was minus 3 degrees Celsius while maximum will be around 5 degrees. Gilgit also has cloudy sky. Minimum temperature was 7 degrees Celsius, while the maximum will be around 17 degrees. Muzaffarabad is expected to have generally cloudy sky with moderate rain. Minimum temperature was 9 degrees Celsius, and maximum will be around 18 degrees. And now before we end the bulletin, the headlines once again. People saved more than 9,000 crore rupees through Jan Oshadi Kendra, says Prime Minister Narendra Modi, calls for using affordable medicines from Jan Oshadi Kendras. Prime Minister uh, dedicates to the nation the 75th 100th Jan Oshadi Kendra in Shillong to mark Jan Oshadi Divas. Campaigning gathers momentum for upcoming assembly elections. Prime Minister to address rally in Kolkata today. Film star Mithun Chakrabarti joins BJP. West Bengal CM Mamta Banerjee to address rally in Siliguri. Congress and DMK seal seat sharing agreement in Tamil Nadu. Congress to contest in 25 seats. BJP releases first list of 57 candidates in West for West Bengal Assembly election. Congress announces 13 candidates for first two phases of polls in West Bengal and 40 candidates for Assam. 
India administers over 2 crore COVID-19 vaccine doses in just 50 days. Over 30 lakh senior citizens and more than 4 lakh people above 45 years with comorbidities get vaccinated in 6 days. President Ramnath Kovind addresses tribal convention in Damo, Madhya Pradesh. In sports, PV Sindhu to face Carolina Marin of Spain in the Swiss Open Badminton Tournament final at Basel this evening. And with that, we end the Midday News.